So if I wanted to create um, styling and have all of them look the same, um, I could do more of a universal style. And I could go up into the head section and create a style tag in the head section. Make sure you do an opening and closing tag. And inside the style tags, you can create the same format that you had uh, below for the color being green. So if I can change this, I can make a paragraph um, selector here, and then I'm going to do a swiggly bracket, which is what I call them. Opening and closing swiggly bracket. I'm going to make sure the opening one is on the same line as the actual selector that I'm using, which in this case is the P, and then this opening swiggly bracket, and then I'm going to hit a space, hit an enter, and make sure that I have a, 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 a actual line break in between the closing um, squiggly bracket and the opening one. So inside here I'm going to actually do the same tag. I'm going to do a, a tab over and say color colon green. And I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go down and I'm going to delete these three. I'm going to leave that there because I'm going to put some more styles here in a minute, but I'm just going to hit save and refresh. And you can see it's still green. If I wanted them all to become red at once, I just save, change the color in the paragraph tag and it becomes red. So how easy is that? That way I only have to do it once. This is internal styling. Remember, this is inline styling and this is internal up here, internal, inline, anything inside the actual uh, opening and closing tags is considered inline styling. Okay. If I want all of my paragraph tags to be the same font size, font dash size of 18 pixels, save and refresh. Uh oh, you'll notice that one of them is smaller and the others are bigger. You'll see down here font size is 16 and that's 18. Uh oh, there's a conflict of interest here because you can see. If you look closely, actually, let's make this bigger just so you can see it more specific. If I may change this font size to 24, hit save and refresh, you'll see that these two are bigger. This is my introduction, my header. I haven't given that any sort of color or font size changes or the footer, but I've given all the paragraph tags a font size change of 24. Well, why is the first paragraph tag not 24 pixels? It's because this is 16 pixels. And this is where the hierarchy comes into play. The inline style is closer to the element that it's affecting. So this is going to override the internal style because this is more of a, um, of a, this is a further away style than this style is to the text itself. So if you want to override a style in the style sheet, in the, in the internal style, you just need to go straight to the, to the um, tag itself and create an inline style. Now, this is not a good habit to get into. You want to learn how to do styles in the same location so that you can access them and edit them easier all in one place as opposed to not remembering where you, you edited the last style um, or edited the last information. So, you know, I could do the same thing here. I could do red and I can go in and say, okay, I'm gonna make this color green. So it's going to change that tag to green. But there's other ways to do that, and I'll show you how to do that later. If you use the class tag instead, you can create custom tags and open them in um, an external style sheet. And But we're going to get into that. Right now, I'm just going to show you the, the different ways you can do styling, which I've already started. I've started showing you the inline uh, format. I've showed you the internal format. Now I'm going to show you the external format.